welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. This is I'm going to show you how to make this cute little helmet for a firefighter on the rainbow loom. And it has a little back area to protect the firefighter. And I also place it on uh, this rainbow loom dog, the Dalmatian that I have. And it's really cute on his head. And I really hope you like it. So I'm going to show you right now how he looks with the firefighter's hat. So basically I have the ears through the top of the hat and it's minimal bands for the helmet too and he just looks really adorable and he's ready to fight a fire. So let's get started. It's going to be a single loom and I'm going to be using black bands for this. You can use whatever color you want and I'm going to use um, neon yellow for the little badge in the front. Okay, I brought the camera a little closer because it is a smaller charm and there's certain banding in here so I want to make sure that you see everything clearly. And we only need singles with this one and no doubles at all. So it's a staggered position, arrow facing down. And what we're going to do first is place a single black on the loom from this pin to this pin. And then another single black. And then, so it's all singles. And like one stitch here, two stitches here. Then I'm going to place another stitch on this side. And here too. And then we'll work on the left side now. Now we're going to be making the top part of the hat and it's going to be another single black and if you want to change the colors now to make this part a different color you can do that too and it's going to be like a black rim but I'm going to make everything black. So then you take, keep this here, I'm going to go and make the surrounding of the helmet right now. So a single black. Then another single, and then we're going to finish on the left side. And then right here. So I have nothing right here in this middle, right here. And now we're going to make the middle of the helmet. You take another single black, place it on this pin. Stretch it to this pin. It's going to be your second pin down. So one, two. Push that down. Then you're going to place it from the middle pin to the right. And we're just going to go all the way around. Now to this pin, to this pin. Push this middle down. Place another single black from this pin to this pin. Then you're going to make another single black from this pin to this pin. Push that down. Then another single from this pin to this pin. And then one more single from this pin, which is the second pin. Stretch to that middle pin. Now you need a little capping band for this part. So I'm going to use a black band, wrap it on the top three times. So one, two, and three. Okay, let me do it again. One, two, and three. Okay. Now your structural bands, it's going to be a single, twist it upon itself, place it right here as a triangle. Okay, just like that. You know, I'm going to do that later. I'm going to take that off. Sorry. 
I'm going to take that off, do it later. It'll be easier for you to loom this first. So first, we're going to take this band. We're going to go underneath this capping band, and we're just going to grab this top band on the left. And because it's all the same color, take it slowly, and we're going to place it back on here. So you can see an arrow, I mean, a um, teardrop shape. Now we're going to grab this one. I'm going to go underneath, and it's the next band on the top. So I place it on this one. Now I'm grabbing this one, the next one on the top. Bring it down. Now my next band is right here. And we're bringing it down. Then I want to grab this one. Then this one. We're just going in a circle. And then finally, this one, the big stretch. Okay, then we have this one is our last one. I'm going to keep that there for now. Now I'm going to put the structural bands. So I'm going to be single, twist it upon itself, and I'm going to make my little triangle here. Okay, and then we're going to take another single, twist it upon itself, and then another triangle. Okay, so I have a single twist here, single twist here. And now we can grab this band. Bring it forward. I'm going to go underneath that little single twist. Bring up this middle band, and then finally, this one. Okay, so we loomed this whole middle section, put the single twists here, and then loomed forward. Now I want to make a little badge for my helmet. And I'm going to use um, neon yellow, but you can use whatever color you want. You can do gray or anything you want. So I took a double band and I placed it on the hook and wrapped it three times. So here's one, two, and three. And it's a big badge. And if you want a smaller badge, you can do a single band and wrap it around three times two. And it's going to be on this band right here. I'm going to place my hook on this band, just bring it slightly off the loom, and slide the badge in the middle, just like that, it's on that band, and then I'm going to place this back on the pin. Now I'm going to make a little capping band, a black band, wrap it on this pin three times. So one, two, three. Okay, so my next, I'm going to loom the side of the helmet, and my top band right now is this one. So I'm going to go underneath the capping band, underneath the other middle band, grab this band, and bring it to the side. Just like that. And now I'm going to grab this one on the right. And now I'm going to loom forward. And I'm just grabbing the bottom black band. So we just loom the side. Now we're going to loom the other side. The bottom bands. Okay, now we're looming this 
top one. Okay, so this is your layout. Make sure it looks like that. Now I need a double band of black. I'm going to make a slip dot right in the top. Just make a little slip knot. Okay, and then we're going to loom this. Take it off the loom. Go slowly. Okay, keep your hook right through this top back end, and we're going to hide these within the back of the helmet. So I'm just going to place it back on the hook like this and bring it through one time. Then I'm going to place my hook back through and bring it back on the hook and bring it through. And then it hides the end bands. So now we have this middle section. Place your finger underneath the helmet and push it and bring the side of the helmet down. And you can see it's taking shape now. And then you have the long part in the back to protect the neck. And you can bring this down. You can bring the badge in the front. And you have a cute little helmet. And it can also be a cute little pencil topper. You can um, place the pencil right through this middle section. And it can be a little pencil topper. It'll be really cute. But let's place it on the dog's head now. I already have this one on this dog. We'll place him down there. And I have this dog right here. And basically, I just figure out where I want the ears. So I want the ears like right here on the side of the head. So I'm going to separate the bands to make a little hole, just like that. And then I'm going to place my ear right through that hole that I made. And then I want to do the same on the opposite. So I'm going to make a little hole through the top, place my ear through it. Bring the ears down. And he's got a cute little helmet. And then you can see the back of the helmet down here. And it's rounded on the top. And he looks adorable. And you can bring, bring the bands down. Bring the badge down. And he looks cute. So I hope you like this tutorial. I really like how this helmet came out. And if you want to make the Dalmatian, come on back to my channel and I have a Dalmatian tutorial. So, I hope you liked it. Please subscribe. Bye.